Rob from Hobbsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got an icon of modern craft beer. This is a bottle of Dogfish Heads 60 minute IPA, continuously hopped IPA. I can't believe I've not reviewed this. I've reviewed 90 minute. I've never reviewed 60 minute. I don't know why. You know what it is. If you don't, you're a bit late to the party, aren't you? <laughs> no, not really. Um, but yeah, continually hopped IPA. Um, real kind of like st set of standard early early doors as far as kind of the evolution of craft beer. Even got my IPA glass. Perfect glass for this. Obviously, Dogfish Head, one of the partners in the creation of this very glass. Is it well conditioned? Nope. Hot. All of it goes in. That's what I like. Bit of glass. Perfect orange coloured IPA, as you'd expect. Thin film with slightly off white head. Let's give it a look at that. Amount of beer what's in that glass, amount of headroom it leaves you for a good swirl. They know what they're playing at when they create this glass. But yes, let's check out the aroma. I mean, I'm not expecting this to be the freshest ball, but it's vague. Um, sweet orange, melon, slightly earthy. Well, really quite earthy. There's malts, uh, the malts coming through in quite a sugary sweet way. Black tea. Yeah, earthy oddly. That's weird. One expecting that at all. Obviously, when we, you're we hopping over, over a continuous um, period, you won't get the aromas like you do on kind of a lot of modern day IPAs where it's all backloaded. Uh, this is obviously not that kind of beer, but oddly British, metallic. If you give me this in, in a lineup, I'd have never thought it was 60 minute IPA. Anyway, let's dive in. As I said, probably not the freshest, but what the hey. Decent. Um, apricot, earthy. Grapefruit towards the back end. Slight yeasty ester going on. Some sharp kind of zest of a lemon. The back end, the, the those yeasty esters are quite British. Mmm, peculiar. If you'd have given me this blind, I'd have said, oh, Shep and Neem have made a, an interesting stab at um, an IPA. But I would have never thought it was this. Admittedly, it, fresh, it might be a massive different bit. I cannot see a, um, a bottling date on this. Um, so, oh, there we go. Bottled on. See if that's an American day. This is this is um, about so that it says a si six of the seventh of the sixth. So um, so that would be six of the seventh for them. So early July, and I am currently early October. So it's got a fair few months on it. Yeah, three three four months something like that. I still thought it should hold hold up a bit better than that. Anyway. Maybe not at its best. Well, clearly not at its best. I mean, just a bit blah. Maybe things have just passed up, passed them by so much that this beer kind of loses its relevance now when you look at some of the beers that are out there. I mean, controversial. I may agree, but give me a fresh bottle and I'll give it a fair shake. But, I mean, if this is how it is... I think Dogfish Head needs to kind of like move with the times a little bit more. Um, that is Dogfish Head, 60 minute IPA. Iconic, maybe, not what it used to be. I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com. Can't win them all. See you next time. Cheers.